Well, today I thought I'd teach you a neat little trick, how to tell if your scuba tank is full. Pretty simple, right? Well, let me ask you a question. What does it mean when you have a tank cap on the top of your valve? Your answer was probably the tank is full. Bad answer. That's all it took. We, we wouldn't bother to have one of these compressors for filling tanks. All we do is just put the t oh, um, just put the tank caps back on and then they'd be full. But it doesn't actually work that way. So, uh, well, hey, maybe you had another answer. Maybe the answer to why is a tank cap on the top of a tank? Uh, I want to see scuba toys with blatant advertising and generally irritate any other dive shop owners that might see my tank. Now, that's a really good answer, but um, yeah, probably not the right one either. So really, a uh, tank cap on the top of a valve simply means there's a tank cap on the top of a valve. So how do we find out if a tank is full or not? Well, most people use this method. What they do is they find a tank that has a cap on it, remove the cap, then they'll take their BC, load that onto the tank, adjusting the strap as need be and get it to the proper height, tighten everything down really good, then they'll grab the regulator system, remove the dust cap, screw that onto the valve, hook up their low power inflator hose, then they always take their octo and get that hooked on where it's supposed to be. At that point they can turn on the air and then uh, a go check on the rest of the stuff. When they come back, they take a look at everything, purge a few things, look at the gauge, and then realize, hey, this tank's empty. So then you get to turn off the air, disassemble everything, and start over. Now, another way to do it is just use a pressure checker. But most people don't have one of these things kicking around. Dive shops do all the time, so we can test tanks. You can turn that on and see how much air is in the tank, but you probably don't want to buy one of those. They're about 75 bucks. Not only that, you don't have to buy one because you got a couple of built-in pressure checkers. They're called ears. It turns out much like a guitar string, when you tighten up the guitar string, the pitch goes up. When you have more air in a scuba tank, the pitch goes up. So here we're going to look at four scuba tanks. Just by looking at them, we can't tell how much air is in them. But all we have to do is bounce them on the ground and listen to the tone that they make. The higher the pitch, the fuller the tank. Let's listen. In fact, I can tell by listening to them that the third tank actually has a little more air than the first two. The last one, he's the lowest. So take the third tank, or that one, or that one, but not that one. Now it's important to note that different size tanks will tone differently. So a smaller tank, like a 63, that will have a higher pitch than the 80s. But if you have all matching tanks, if you bounce them, you can figure out which ones are the full ones and which ones are the empty ones. Or if you're bored, you can use your newfound knowledge to play some songs. Mm -hmm. 